Hey people, how y'all doing today? I'm just tweeting everything out real quick and we will get started my friends. That's right, we are going to be cooking some new stuff today. I ain't never tried it before so, you know, hoping it's good. Hoping it is good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, I know. Alright, let me just tweet this out to all the cool peoples out there. How y'all been doing, huh? You been doing good? I hope so. Just been taking it easy here myself. Doing a little ton of bar prep. Had some family stuff to deal with. You know how much fun that stuff is. <laughs> but, you know, getting over. Some of my roommates here. Hey, Flash, how you doing, buddy? Give me just a second. That's my roommate. It's fine. But, you know, I'll be doing this in here. He'll be doing his stuff. Yeah, that's enough people to tweet out to. Yep, yep, yep. I'm trying to make some snacks at least. Do you guys hear me okay? Coming in good? Hope so. Hey Taylor. Uh, Let's do a little quick stream. But yeah, gang, we're gonna be doing a Cajun style dish today. Hadn't done it before, so you know something new for me, something new for y'all. Figure since it's new for all of us. May as well give it a shot, you know? I mean, it might not be new for y'all. Y'all might have done something similar already. <laughs> Let's get this quick wiped out. If there's no lint or dust in my thing. Uh, not having too good of luck with the drops. I got you. I got you, Flash. I haven't played in a while because I'm trying to get things ready for the bar exam, you know. <sighs> yep. Just making sure there's no lint or hair or anything in my skillet. I want that to be clean. Cleanliness is very important. All right. So to start off. We are going to have our ingredients ready. I got some shrimp over there soaking, making sure they're nice and room temp when we get ready to peel them and cut them. They've already been peeled, deveined. I just gotta get rid of the tails. Some people like leaving tails on when they cook shrimp. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, apart from that, we have 14 ounces of sausage. I'm going with a hot smoked sausage from Hillshire Farm. You can do pretty much anything. That's also I go with pork sausage. You can use turkey, beef, or um, chicken for this recipe. It'd be fine. We're going to have three bell peppers, two zucchini, which we'll go ahead and get these rinsed real quick. And we are going to have two yellow squash. Let me get these out. Yeah, I haven't cooked squash much before, but this is going to be a very bright, colorful summer dish, you know. And I usually use just regular yellow onions, but today we are going to be using... Vidalia onion. They're in season. They're from right here from Georgia. Probably one of the best onions you can ever eat. Very sweet, but still have a little bit of a, a tartness to them, which is nice. Yeah, get those ready. And um, I guess first things first, we're going to make our own Cajun seasoning. Because we need that for this dish, and I did not want to buy pre-made Cajun seasoning. Let's see how much this dish calls for real quick. I think I got two tablespoons there. That's not bad. We can do that. Make a, little, make a little bit more because, you know, like I have actually a little bit of seasoning. Also changed my camera setup a little bit, so now I have to look over here to see you guys. But that means you guys, instead of being over here, you know, having a light in your face, works out a little bit better, I think. Yeah, it's just going to be me today. Decided to make it a nice, quiet, casual stream. Oh, let me get my this over here real quick. All right, let me get the ingredients out real quick for our seasoning and we'll go and get that made up. 
You guys been doing good though? Hope you have at least. Summer off to a good start. I guess we're a couple weeks into it now. Oh, the camera and the messy floor. <laughs> I should have gotten all my splices out in advance, but I was kind of in a rush to get things ready. It was very impromptu stream as usual. Salt, a lot of salt. <laughs> See, garlic powder, garlic powder, garlic, garlic, garlic. Check out my spice rack. Good thing I bought garlic powder, I guess. Oh, here we go. And again, like fresh spices are always a little bit better if you can get them, but for our purposes, Walmart spices is fine, guys. Uh, college give me trouble, Sam. Oh, uh, which movie, Flash? I'll turn the volume on this in case we get a donation or notification. I can actually hear it. <laughs> hey, guys, how you doing? Ain't seen you in a bit. Been doing good, I hope. Good, good. All right, cool. Get rid of that. that turned on. All right. Just going through right now and getting the spices together. Is that paprika? Yeah, I got paprika, black pepper, onion powder. Need if I grab onion powder. I bought some today, I just didn't want to open it up yet. Some of those. Yeah, whatever, we'll just go grab that. That's unfortunate. I got parsley, sage, rosemary, no thyme. I almost had the song. But we'll use a little bit of Italian seasoning because it has that in it. And it'll also take, take out the oregano. Cayenne pepper. Got that right here. And where are my red pepper flakes? I know I have them somewhere. Somewhere. This will be nice. It'll be the first recipe I've made in forever that doesn't have friggin' cumin in it. All right, guys, we're getting our recipes and stuff together. <clears throat> I'm doing good, Ice. Doing good. Been staying busy. <clears throat> All right, first off, get our measuring spoons. Got a few different sizes right here. Going to get a... Got a bowl here for it. So, we're going to get two teaspoons of garlic powder. Just a teaspoon. So it's not too much effort to do to make a good season like this. I've also used this, uh, a similar version. This is a rub before. Not on the Wendy's strings, but for uh, trying to do like a Cajun barbecue thing. It came out pretty good. I might do that on the stream one day. I know, Sam. I can't believe I forgot it either. That, that just shows how much um, school work I've been doing lately. I'm going to get two and a half teaspoons of paprika. One of my favorite movies, I might add. If you guys haven't seen the anime film Paprika, check it out. It's really, really good. One teaspoon. Two teaspoon. And a half a teaspoon. Now for all this, this is going to make more than we need for today. But I'm going to save this and put it up for later. Because I like having a little bit of extra stuff, you know. Black pepper. I need to buy more black pepper instead of these shakers. Got my money's worth out of these, considering I got them for free. <laughs> Good and bad. So, what are you guys planning on? What are all y'all planning on having on for dinner tonight? Ice mentioned that he's waiting on dinner. What y'all want in the fall to dinner tonight? Teaspoon of onion powder. Get this cracked up on. Uh, yeah, I've seen Perfect Blues. One of my favorites as well. I love pretty much anything about that director. He's a great, great, great director. I'm talking about um, Satoshi Khan for people who don't know who I'm talking about. Get another teaspoon, uh, this time, onion powder. And again, most of, my, most of my seasonings are like Walmart seasoning. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter where you get them from. But again, like, you know, the high dollar stuff is going to taste better, but when you're using dried seasoning, it doesn't really matter in the long run. Ooh, yakitori and fried rice sounds really good. 
Okay, what about Shinji voice? Hold on, let me scroll back up on the chat. Ooh, spaghetti also. Awesome. Actually, I'm gonna stop on making spaghetti. Let's how to go with this. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this one we're gonna next up we're gonna put about half a tablespoon of Italian seasoning in it. Cause Italian seasoning is just a mix of a bunch of different crap, you know. But it covers our needs for some of the stuff that I just don't have on hand. When you powder, cayenne, oregano, fine, yada yada. One teaspoon, cayenne pepper. Have I already put that in? Yeah, what the hell? Make it extra spicy. I like spicy stuff. I like it a lot. And we're going to add in some red pepper flakes. A little optional, but gives a little bit of color, a little bit of body to it. Okay. Now let's stir it up. Again, if you got something that has a little bit of bumps in it, just grind it up, just mush it. Almost there. So we need for that. So now we have Cajun seasoning. A little bit better light over here, so you guys see what the color of it looks like. Yeah. Man, I can smell it. It smells good and spicy. Go set these over there. Now we're gonna get started on our vegetables. Take a little drink first. Mm. Okay, a little for me, maybe not so little for other people. <laughs> Throw these spices out of the way though. Oh yeah, I forgot. Need to put about a tablespoon of salt, not a tablespoon, about a teaspoon of salt in there also. Basically this is gonna be like a stir fry version of Look Hunter Bowl. Oh thanks Flash, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, Carrie really knocked that out of the park in the last fate. Like her caster was perfect. Can't wait to start back on working on the next one after bar prep. Though first it'll be a bridge him not me episode two. That's got to come out. I got almost everything for it. I just need like a retake or two. It's just oh, I just broke my camera. Remember we don't make mistakes, just having accidents. But yeah, for bridge him not me, it's coming out. I hope in August. That'll be my first thing I work on after the bar because I just really want to make that stupid episode already. Because I think it's a very funny script, and I want to get to episode 3. Alright, so yeah. What we're going to do is, we're first off going to wash, and then cut these squash and zucchini. Thing with stuff like this, you know, it's got like spots like that stuff just going on it, just scrape it off. Don't know what that is, probably just dirt, but you don't want that in your system. Or else you want to cut the ends off of them. I'm going to get the zucchini one. Allergies are killing me today. Cannot sneeze because I don't want to sneeze. Hey, Shadow, welcome to the stream, buddy. Yeah, a lot of people really do like fate. No, no, no. Bridge Hand on me is not a myth, guys. Literally any content from me. Now that is a myth. <laughs> nah, like it's just been it's just been a hectic year, you know. Well, last year was a heavy year. This year's actually going pretty good. 
Just staying super busy though with bar prep and getting these planned for that new project, which I need to announce officially, even though like most of you guys have already seen it. And I premiered it in my channel Momocon, which went really well by the way. I don't think I've had a chance to talk since Momocon with you guys. Sorry, my phone went to sleep while I was looking at the chat. Hey, Yomi's actually working on Friendship Force 2. It's a thing that's a coming. One day, I hope. Mainly it's just been, like I said, our lives have been really hectic this past year for a lot of reasons, too many to go into. But things are finally get, looking good, you know. Still a bit hard here and there, but don't let it get to you, you know. Open, come on, open up the thing. There it goes. Can I get my recipe open? So what we're going to do with these, we're going to cut them into what's called a half moon shape. Basically, we're going to take the long way right here. Let me get this out of the way so I can show you guys. Cut it down the longest, thickest part. Split it. See? Now, the next part's really easy. Just... Kind of, I'm going to say about a quarter of an inch to about half an inch in thickness. Not too bad. Let's see. I hear you, Fancy. I can't, haven't been able to go to too many. Yeah, that's one thing I like about Fate um, Shadow. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. I mean, I guess I got the longest running by this point. I think anyone else who was around at that time has kind of quit. Granted, I can't say much. Mine's only the longest running because I put out like an episode every year. But hey, law school, you know? Yeah, I do like that. I feel like there's never any chance of like a repeated joke between my show and some of the other people's. There's a lot of variety and a lot of different styles of humor you can use for fate. A lot of comedic potential for it. I mean, it kind of helps I'm more or less going to throw in a plot out the window in the next few-ish episodes for mine. Nah, straw man, not making waffles today. Never had much luck with waffles, actually. And I don't really make them often. But when I've tried, it was very... Yeah. Alright, so I'm just pulling my rest of Actually, I'm going to grab my charger for my phone because it's almost dead. He's dead, Jim. <clears throat> Zero strong hands, huh? Alright. Sit down, one in. I'm also glad I'm kind of more or less friends with pretty much anyone who makes a fate parody. That's nice. Nice show the, you know, good camaraderie in the community and all that. Yeah, to be cutting these, about to grab a plate in a second. One thing you can cut zucchinis and squash, it'll make your cutting board a little sticky. Let me turn it a little bit so you guys can see it better on camera. Sorry, since it's a live stream, sometimes it's hard to tell where the best camera angle is when I get it actually to working, you know? There we go. Nothing too much. Yeah, a lot of times when I cook, I actually don't have much of a recipe. This is one a friend sent me. I think he found it on like Facebook or something. So it was really good, and it, I mean, he's a terrible cook. And if he can make a good, make it good, here's hoping, you know. I probably just jinxed myself. I realize. plate real quick and put these on because they're starting to kind of clutter up the cutting board, you know? Amazing how they look so small when they're just normal zucchini. But now they're all cut up, it's like, oh my god, they're fucking everywhere. Hey, JoJo. Hmm. 
Whew. Speaking of fucking, you anybody see E3? <laughs> they have so many seasons, you have a bridge for centuries. I don't plan on doing all of it, I guess, but... Like, the last episode of Fate I did had... Jesus, like six episodes mixed in, I think. At least four of regular and one of Carnival Phantasm, so probably five episodes. But I needed to do that to kind of fit the narrative I wanted to reach. Also, like, Unlimited Blade Works is a good series, but I hate the pacing. I do. I'm not a fan of the way they pace that series. All right, set our prepared ones over here. Now we're going to do the same thing with Squash. Todd Howard memed on you. <laughs> I know, Ice, Resident Evil 2. I got pretty much every game I want to reveal, except for Metroid Prime 4, which I'm surprised they didn't show anything on. That would have that would have been a, a good good one to get some interest in the Switch. Which, I mean, the Switch is doing great. It's not like they really need the extra interest. But, I don't know. I, I wanted to see it. That's just me. Um, crap, there's another game I really wanted let hear more about, but I can't remember now. Top of my head. Oh yeah, 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 the remake of Final Fantasy VII. There's also a rumor they were going to talk about Final Fantasy XVI, but that never materialized. Yeah, here's hoping for next time, right, guys? Animal Crossing fans crud. Yeah. Like I said, though, I like that new mech game Nintendo announced. And I'm glad Ridley's finally in Smash, along with literally every Smash character ever. Which unfortunately made a bit of the, um, what's it called? Nintendo's Treehouse a bit annoying afterwards because I tried watching while I was studying the other day. Because they're, they're going to talk about Smash a lot, obviously. No one ever fucking played Ridley or um, the Inkling. Which, they're the characters I, want, I feared they would try to promote. Now everybody just picked basically their old favorite from Melee. Well, Strongman, if you're all afraid it out, I hope you'll enjoy the next project I got that's coming out soon. All being announced soon. Oh, yeah, I was talking to a friend of mine who's at E3 right now. Ran, he ran into Kojima and Jason Hughes from Jay and Silent Bob, of all people. I'm like, why is Jay at E3? That's weird. All right, we got our zucchini and squash over here. That's done. Screaming like the Japanese schoolgirl in Kogia's Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of mixed into the idea of another season of Kogia's because I think its original ending is pretty damn good. I don't know. Might be good. We'll see. We'll see. I need to get a large bowl. I'll probably be using the pot. It is thundering real bad outside, gang. Hopefully, I do not lose y'all. It's, it's always a terrible thing to lose a friend. I mean, how could you forget where you put them at, you know? That was a bad joke, I know. <clears throat> These are stuck together a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to be mixing all of our ingredients into one big-ass bowl or pot. Blunt Man and Chronic the video game? Dude, I would fucking love that. Peppers ready. Go ahead and rinse these too. Oh, and get one more thing I always talk about. I mention it every time, but I'll mention it until I die. Make sure you get the fucking seeds out. The seeds suck. Also, the new camera placement is throwing me so fucking off because I keep thinking it's over there, but it's over there. 
This is why we practice these things instead of doing it live. I'm not kidding, I never practice anything. Decided to go with red and orange bell peppers. Honestly, just because of color. It's a good contrast to the yellow and um, green of the zucchini. Vain reasons, I know, but well, I guess my show, my food, do what I want, bitch. I'm sorry for calling you a bitch. It's okay, me. Thankfully, it's so easy to just get the peppers out if you cut the top and bottom off. See? Peppered a little, their little nest in there. Like something out like a sci fi video game. Look at that shit. Put it to the good camera. It's nasty, doesn't it? And of course, we're going to give it a little rinse through to get the loose seeds out. Then we'll cut it up. Uh, for me, I think Bethesda had probably the best presentation. New Doom announcement, new Fallout, DLC for Wolfenstein. Pretty good. Nintendo has a good looking mech game, though. That definitely caught my interest. Probably give it a shot. It's by the studio that made Fate Excel, actually. The hell? Look at guys, look at this. There's a pepper growing inside of my pepper. The actual hell. So. Yep, this is the color of Archer's outfit and Shira's hair. I got a friend of mine, or co-worker, I guess I should say, who would be like, no, 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 save that, we can eat it. I'll be honest, though, I've already made a little post-bar exam gift to myself and pre-ordered the Fallout Collector's Edition. I know I should, but I don't have to pay for it until I pick it up. Which is nice. Let's see these over here right now. I don't want to get all these. I just washed off my pepper, so I don't want to get these extra seeds on it, you know? So I'm just going to wipe down and get the seeds and stuff off of the cutting board. So always make sure you have a good cutting board, guys. It can be used for literally anything. And a good knife. The knife is the most expensive thing I own in this kitchen right now. And it's the most useful. I use it literally every episode that we do this. You guys have got a minute. I use it all the time. Yeah. We're just going to be cutting the peppers up into chunks. Doesn't have to be precise or anything like that. Just you know, good size chunks like this. Drop them in the pot. Oh, the Nani the fuck a pepper? Inside of a pepper? Pepception. I'm a little bit behind on the chat, sorry guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to announcing the new project. The trailer's done, looks good. I just got a few things I gotta do for my channel before I announce it, which is that's on me. I've had a lot of schoolwork. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you saw I've had some family drama to deal with. That's always fun. It's never fun. Yeah, we're doing good now. It's getting a little messier with this one just for no real reason. You guys got any good movies you're looking forward to right now? I'm going to see, um, I got a friend who does that, uh, another friend in a local one at least, who does that shadow. Don't really bother me. Except that he will yell it. That's the only thing that bothers me with it. I'm like, dude, dude, in indoor voice, indoor voice. Good guy, good guy. 
A little loud, but good. <laughs> but some of the best people you ever meet are loud. Yeah, I'm a little on the quieter side, I guess. I don't know. Nani. Nani the fuck? Not gonna lie, my favorite thing about E3 was when he was like, um. When sweet pepper, you cut him in half and mixed rice. Yeah, it won't be that bad, straw man. Just, that's different than what we're doing here, though. Prep time on this should not take this long, but I'm slow when I because I talk a lot. I'll get better at it. I read somewhere they say that streaming actually improves your hand-eye coordination and multitasking ability because you're talking and trying to be entertaining while playing a game or doing something. What do you guys think about that? Hmm? I think there's some credence to that. Should be playing some Credence. That'd be good music later on cooking some Cajun food. But I don't want to get copyright strike, you know? Or something silly like that. Always, for stuff like this, try and get as fresh ingredients as possible. I don't live on the coast anymore, but when I did, it was so easy to get good, fresh shrimp, like, anytime you want. Four o'clock in the morning, you want to get some fresh shrimp to do a crab bowl? They got your hookup, man. Do anything. Here, though, I gotta make do with frozen. Which is not too bad. But for vegetables, never do, like, frozen veggies if you can. I like them, but... Starting to love JoJo, starting to pose in public subconsciously. Dude, I hear you. Yeah, it's which my friend does the JoJo Nani. Alright, that's that. Now let me check on our shrimps real quick, guys. Give me just one second. See if this is thawed enough. Recipe call for the leaf tail on. I don't have to deal with picking tails out of shrimp as I eat. They're a little frozen, but it'll be okay. They're, most, they're mostly thawed. It's just like ice shaving stuck to them. We're just gonna cut the tails off real quick. Take like a minute. Also, since we're dealing with shrimp, make sure if you throw it in the trash. Throw out your trash immediately afterwards. Because it's going to smell nasty in a couple hours. Yeah. So, we don't even need the knife for this, honestly. I'm just lazy. So, yeah, we're just going to pop the tail off. See? Throw them in. If you got any extra ice or shell, because even though these I bought peeled shrimp, sometimes I'll have the shell. It just happens. Yeah, the shrimp are already thawed. Like I said they just got like a little bit of ice just stuck on them from when they were thawing. Most of them were clean though. Oh yeah, never try thawing shrimp in hot water by the way, they'll mess them up. Make the meat tough. It probably applies to other fish also, but I just know for shrimp, so that's, you know. Put a shrimp ice on the stove and it'll cook off. It's not funky, but it'll cook. 
Wondering if my cast iron is looking big enough, or should I break out the electric skillet, which I've never used on here before. Caught up on a new anime. Actually, I've been watching a pretty good bit this year. Oh, nice to hear, Shadow. Glad to hear. Yeah, watch anime I'm watching this season. Golden Conway is really good. Enjoying it. Um, with Takoi, uh, dating is hard for Otaku, if it leaves the English translation. It's really good, really funny. Hinamatsuri is my favorite, probably. I need to get started on Steinsgate and High School DXD. I was waiting for the dubs to get caught up on those, and then I got behind on bar stuff. So, yeah, that's put off a little bit. But both those series will probably still be going when I'm done with the bar. Yeah, I got a Funimation now, so it's not like they're going anywhere. Uh oh. Be right back. I'm going to rinse off my cutting board before I mess with the sausage because there's shrimp stuff everywhere. That's something kind of funny. The um, zucchini has stained my cutting board. See? A little bit of that green streak right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm watching the new Full of Cooley season. I watched it, um... Hmm. In Momocon, first episode. I also got a couple posters from them. Then when I start streaming more regularly again, I am going to <coughs> raffle the Con exclusive posters off the fans. So, keep an eye out for that. I'm not doing it tonight because I don't have... All the stuff together to do that. But yeah, that'll be fun. I don't know, Sand. It kind of worries me a little bit. How can you, can you stand a cutting board? Alright, time for some onions. I think we're using Vidalia onions because they're in season, they're fresh, I know they're good. I don't get to eat them all that often. And I put them in my low country bowl back home. Which this is a spiritual successor to. Ooh, almost cut my finger a little bit. Did I cut it? Hmm. Yep, nicked him on the tip of the knife. Oh well. Not bleeding. Ooh, that only would hurt if he got in it though. <laughs> ah, I miss getting a stream and chat with you guys. That's one of the downsides of doing bar prep and work. I just don't have the free time anymore, you know? It kind of bums me out, bruh. Yeah, I didn't cut my finger. That's good. Oh, this turned out good. I have never tried making some of this before. Like, I was originally going to just do a straight up low country bowl, but I'd have to buy a big ass pot. And I don't want to spend money on that right now. Because. Bar stuff. I'm also gonna pay editors for projects. You know, expenses add up, mate. They add up. So, what do you guys got? Any good stuff sticking out to y'all? I think that's already the name I gave it, saying. <laughs> I need to make a. I need to come up with like a catchy name for this. Hawk style Cajun skillet. Yeah, fuck it, why not? It's a lot of onion, but a lot of good Cajun dishes have onion in them. And these aren't tart onions either; they're sweet onions. So it would be a little bit easier for some people who don't like onions to tolerate. Like my dad, he can't stand onions. He fucking hates them. So when I cook, I usually try to use those if I can.
right, so what we're going to do with this, I'm actually going to cook about half of these into skillet first to give a little bit of flavor before we add this. And the rest will go in there with this. Should I just cook the whole onion? Yeah, I'm going to cook the whole onion in there. Yeah, that'll be easier. Also, deep fried. Ooh, that sounds painful. I have not deep fried a, a digit yet. I actually do have a deep fryer just sitting like right over there I'd never use. It's my landlord, so he left it when they moved. I'm like, can I use this? I haven't even opened it up. There might be like a just old ass french fries in there for all I know. I kid, he's actually a great chef. And fairly clean, so I doubt there's anything in there. I just haven't opened it because it's not mine, you know? I'm one of those people I don't like using other people's stuff without their permission. I'm like, oh, this is here. Should I use it? Nah. I'm always like doing things proper, asking permission, all that good stuff. Good thing about these onions, granted, they still burn your ass sometimes. Very sweet. You could just straight up eat one. Just pick it up and eat it. Now, the sausage. I'll be honest, when I do little country bowls with family, sausage is probably my favorite thing. You guys are watching Full Metal Brotherhood? Nice. There we go. Look at that chunk of meat, guys. Oh no, I broke my meat. We're gonna cut it short pieces like this. Great, I know one of y'all in the audience just winced. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a little thinner slices. This is a hot sausage. You can get mild, smoked, whatever you want. It really doesn't really matter. I want that extra little kick from the jalapeno, though. Also, if you have some, anyone who has problems swallowing or bad signs of sometimes, you might have to take the skin off. I know, like, my dad sometimes, he doesn't anymore, but for a while, he would have to peel the skin off the sausage before he ate them. Because some reason he had breathing problems and it was just he would choke and he started to swallow it was weird the man had eaten sausage his entire life in low country bowl or crab bowl whatever you want to call him and had never had that happen before we were all very confused 60 years old now and he can eat him again but for like five years it was weird yeah make sure you kill him with my pieces One day I might do a little, an actual low country bowl while I'm on here. Those are so good. But again, I have to get a big pot, which the pot I want will cost like 80 bucks. I just don't want to spend the money right now. <sighs> yeah. One day though, I need to get my um, landlord on stream. The guy's a great cook. Also, I need to get my roommate on here too. He's a good cook too. Both of them are sushi chefs. They're cut a little bit of an angle. Not too big a one, but a little bit of one to help out. So now, let me get this recipe pulled back up real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. How much olive oil do I need? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna get our Cajun season we made back, guys. See, remember this? I told you, I told you, I told you things would come together. Now, it shouldn't take you guys this long to actually cook it like I am. I'm doing this so slow that way you guys know and can see all my mistakes and shit. Yeah. Gonna drizzle olive oil in here. About three tablespoons. Let's do that. Put a little bit everywhere. Sit off to the side because we're gonna put some of it in the um, skillet. Now, let me get a big spoon, actually. It'll be the same spoon we're going to cook with. Alright. 
Big spoon. See, we're gonna mix all this shit up. A little bit of seasoning in there. And we want to try to make sure the seasoning is mixed in as good as possible. You call for a big bowl. Don't got a big bowl. Make do. We got that right, gang. Oh yeah, they got a fake VR game. I don't have VR though on like anything. Well, who knows? That might be what makes me invest in PlayStation VR or something. I gotta say though, Nintendo's got a couple titles now that actually make me want to consider getting a Switch. Which I, I, I wanted to get a Switch anyway. It's just I was like holding off until something jumped out and grabbed me. The mech game coming out next year though might be the title for me. Because the mech designs in it are by Shoji Kawamori, creator of Macross, one of my favorite franchises of all time. And he is also doing the, um, he also did, what the hell is it called? Um, Eureka 7. He did the mech designs for that. He's done a couple Gundam series. He, always, he mainly did work for like Gundam's major competition, Macross, which he co-created and still does to this day. There we go. Look at all that seasoning on there, guys. See? There we go. That's what we need. All right, need to put a sausage in there too. I should have done it earlier, but I'm a derp. Oh man, that weather is not sounding good, my friends. Yeah, let's mix this in there too, so that way it gets all that um, stuff on there. We'll end up cooking for about 10 minutes once we get the onions ready. See, the oil is making the season stick to everything, which is good, which is what we want. Might be a little heavily seasoned than normal. I'll let you guys know, and if so, I'll modify the recipe when I post it to cut back a bit. Uh, Tito, I am making Cajun-style shrimp and... Sausage and veggies skillet. Mm. Set this over here out of the way. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here. Afterwards, I'm gonna have to reseason my wok, I think, because it's look not my wok, my um cast iron skillet. Turn it on to high heat for this, then we'll cut it back down to medium after we're done with the onions. Get a little bit of garlic while we're at it too. Just regular garlic to help with the onions. I mean, I'm one of those cooks, I like garlic, you know? I'm not gonna apologize for it, I just fucking like garlic. If you don't like garlic, oh well. We already got garlic powder in our Cajun seasoning, so this right here, like I said, is just mainly to help get it get it started, you know. So let's just put a little bit of minced garlic in here, guys. Well, I might use it more later. Don't know yet. Wooden spoon. Wooden spoons are useful. It has been way too long, Taito. Mainly me. Yeah, olive oil does burn very easy and very quickly. But it's light. It'll do what I need for the onions, because I want the onions to get in there a little quick. Also, part of the reason I'm using olive oil is one of the people that might be eating this later is allergic to vegetable oil. But not olive oil, which is good. On the floor, my hands real quick. There we go. You hear it start sizzling now. I 
do like the, the smell of fresh onions cooking, I will say. Eh, I don't want butter. This dish can be low. It's, it's a, one good thing about this dish, and one reason I'm cooking it, low carb comparatively, at least to what I usually make. Here we go. See, the onions are already getting a little bit soft, a little translucent here and there. Do just another minute or so, probably. Get a little bit of seasoning on young is from my spoon. Bacon fat's not for me, my friends. I have nothing against it, I just don't like cooking with it. I think it's because my mom cooked like half the shit she used to make when I was a kid with bacon fat, and I just I was like, eh. Onions getting soft. Now, let's add this. Oh, shit. Yeah, I should use the electric skillet. This is not big enough. You live, you learn, you make a fucking mess. Yeah, hold on, guys. Yeah, let's turn that off. That's not going to work. Too bad, I actually like using that. Give me just a second, gang. You know, the recipe said medium sized skillet for all these ingredients. I think they underestimated how much stuff was going to be. Oh no, I know, I know they ain't gold yet, man. But they will be by the time the rest of the stuff's done. I didn't want the onions to be overdone. I don't know if they don't like this bar prep stuff mainly. You know, I'm thinking this is going to be the same size, isn't it? Alright, time for the walk. Bring out our trusty old friend. Is that going to be the same size too, though? Shit. I don't think I have anything big enough to cook all this mess. Hmm. Uh, like I said, life update, it's just the same old, same old, really. Bar prep stuff. All that taking a, taking a ton of time. Hmm. And all that fit in here, I wonder. I haven't used this thing since I got it. Hmm. Now we'll go with, yep, yeah, fuck it. We'll split it in half, go with the wok, and with the skillet. Because why not? Yeah, I don't have a saucepan. See you later, Taito. Sorry about this, guys. These don't make quite as much of a mess on these things. Hmm. Oh, well. Hmm. Could do it in batches. Cut it half now and half. Yeah, probably best bet to cook in batches. 
did not expect it to be that much food, especially as cheap as this was to make. Yeah, we'll do that, gang. stuff in a gang. Yeah, mix it up in there a little bit and then we'll throw like half of it at a time into the skillet. make cheap recipes. Pretty sure my friend made up quantities as he was going though. When he sent me this. It's good. It smells good at least. Mix up a little bit. We're just gonna say so we're just gonna cook it in batches, guys. See how that works out for us. I'm glad I'm just not doing homework right now. Been too much of that lately. Right. Since off the side, we'll play with that more later. Let me get something to put this in for later. While I'm thinking on it. Guys, I'm just so I know I'm moving the camera. I'm just trying to find well, my baking. Oh, here it is. Put the stuff in this when I'm done. On the plus side, apart from this, a little bit, the clamp's not that bad. We're not gonna be cooking on high here, we're cooking more on medium. Guys, you guys can see the mistakes I make and make not make them yourselves. Like I said, the seasoning smells great. Peaceful evening, though. Good. Long day. Peaceful evening. So, what you guys been up to while I've been gone last couple months, couple weeks? Put a few more onions in here. Do, 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 do. 
do 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 I'll be honest, I keep forgetting it's Thursday. It feels like a Friday. Mr. Goals, we're going to cook these until the vegetables turn tender and the shrimp is pink, bright pink. Otherwise, it's raw. We have a friend coming from out of town tonight. I think everyone has something when he gets in. Be real, real late when he arrives, though. Have you ever tried Ligma? No, I haven't. What is that? Nick over in the Twitch chat asked if I've ever tried Ligma. I have not. Don't know offhand what that is, to be honest. There we go. It's starting to heat up good now. Mmm, smelling good though. I'll tell you that much, guys. Thanks, Flash. Smelling good. I don't know. A couple people have been talking about doing similar things to this, so I figured I'd give it the old college try. <sighs> Even though I made this to be low carb, it'd be good with like some. Spicy rice or something. Nice. Nice and good. Probably try that next week when you try that. I got you. Maybe this is very impromptu stream because I, I just want something different. Originally, I was just going to cook like a spaghetti or something or something spicy. I was like, you know what? Screw it. This looked good. Let's give it a try. I mean, what's it going to hurt, you know? I say that and I'll be dead like tomorrow. <laughs> I'll post a recipe and ingredients list below, guys. Shrimp's looking pretty good. Give it another minute or two, though. Do it to about 10 after. Dark Sub 3D. Are you inviting or lose? <laughs> there you go. I'm hoping this is good and spicy. Bet it'd be good to have a little... Some various types of peppers. What I do is if someone gives me a recipe, I'll cook it according to it as best I can at least. And then I'll experiment with it on my own. 
like I said, this is my first time trying this, so I thought, like, you know, I'll see if it's good and you guys like it. Like I said, I think you got it off something on Facebook. A lot of stuff I cook is me combining, like, recipes I've seen or tried that I liked. Or, you know, stuff like that. You know, it could be just a thing. See how tender these are. Eh, yeah, squash can go for another minute or two. I don't want to risk scorching though, because I already see like the bottoms is already drying out a little bit. So that's how they're doing on the inside. Pretty good, yeah, good, 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 good. We do not want to get food poisoning, my friends. I haven't given myself food poisoning yet. That's not confidence. That's just hope. <laughs> I don't know. God, it's been a beautiful day, though. It's raining and storming now, but it was, I was driving earlier, and it was nice. The reason I was driving wasn't nice, but it was, you know, good road. I called my parents earlier. They said down by them is just disgustingly dark and dreary. <laughs> oh, someone's messaging me on the thing. Okay, yeah, nothing big. Just my D&D group checking in. Alright, we're going to dump this now into a pan to hold. This is done. <laughs> Dude, I wish I could put out stuff as good as Team Four Star. For me, it's not necessarily the quality, it's the time. Team Four Star does really good stuff, though. I can't, I'm not going to knock them. They do high quality series. Oh, their original content isn't working up well for them. But I know they're going to face some resistance from fans who are pissed about them not, you know, doing as much Dragon Ball Z stuff. Yeah, it's going to scorch a little bit, but it'll be alright. This batch will cook a little bit faster than the last because the pan's hot as hell already. We'll do about 10 minutes on this. <laughs> Try and produce more consistent content now at a better rate, anyway. Because I don't like how inconsistent I've been in making stuff. Right, let's try a piece of sausage and a piece of shrimp. Let's see how they taste. You know what? That's really damn good, actually. Woo! They got a good kick. That's good. That is legitimately good, guys. I'm glad. <coughs> I gotta say, though, the second episode for Attack on Titan they had planned was amazing, guys. Like, seriously. Alright, see you, Flash. Stay safe. That's actually part of the reason I'm launch I've launched a Patreon. Because the entirety of the Patreon revenue is going to go to paying editors. So make more official stuff. Nah, man, they'll never. Dude, Funimation will never give out that official dub. They're also good friends with a lot of the guys in it, like um, Chris Sabat. Kyle Kaiser's worked as audio engineer for him at his studio. Me, if I could work with any um, anyone in the industry, like director-wise, Michael Sidonopoulos. Dude is a great, great director. Does not get enough credit. Also, a really good voice actor. 
Um, he's mostly known, I guess, as Dean from Venture Brothers. But again, he's a really good voice actor and good director. Um, he did the Berserk, the old one in the new movies. Those were two of his. Sorry, my the spices are good and smelling. Get my head cleaned up. But yeah, he's done some other great things as well, but those are my favorites by him. Partially because when they redubbed the new movies, he got almost the entire like original cast back, at least the principal characters. And I'm like, that's really damn cool. It's also really good to hear Mark Drapeson again as something. The guy who played Guts. He works for Bang Zoom now, like he was in Sword Art Online. I'm surprised they didn't get him back for Guts and instead got Kaji Tang. I mean, Kaji does a great job. Or is it KG? I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. Like, I like him a lot better as Guts than I did as Archer. He, I thought he did a pretty good Archer overall for Fate. Hey, Warlock. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, the, um... I don't know, guys. Like I said, that'd be one I would love to work with. <laughs> Get hungry, you saying? Well, this recipe costs around 15 bucks to make. Probably less, actually, if you cut down the portions, which I should have done. Honestly, I should have just gotten one piece of squat, one squash, one zucchini, half an onion, two peppers. And used half the shrimp I did. But I'm going to have a bunch of people over off and on this weekend, so they'll eat it. It's not going to go to waste, you know? I might get out of here without setting the kitchen on fire today. Yay! I should have, dude, I should have um, streamed the last two things I cooked. One was a um, Tuscan style um, chicken dish. It was so good. Didn't reheat well, though. But fresh? Mmm. Like, that's a, that is a date dish right there, my friends. That is definitely a date dish. But like you want to impress a girl, cook her that. Practice a couple times, though, so you don't mess up. Yeah, but I liked how he played Archer. He played him very cocky and very relaxed, which I liked. Guts is honestly a more reserved role, but he does that very well. I also like the fact that he's one of those guys who really gets into the roles he plays, like becomes a fan of the stuff, too. Because I'm that's one of the things I know just used to disappoint a lot of my friends when we meet voice actors from older shows or games. A lot of them, they don't play the stuff. They don't like it that much. But a lot of the ones working for Bang Zoom right now. Erica Mendez, Erica Limbeck, Kaji Tang, Bryce, all them. They seem to, they seem to genuinely enjoy the franchises they're in. God, this smells so good, guys. I wish you guys, I wish I had like a 4D like smell vision for this stuff, so y'all could smell it. Let's take a picture of this so I can post it on Twitter. Before I forget to have a stage a picture, be all false and phony. Now, if you wanted, um, you probably garnish this with a little bit of parsley. Some lemon juice would probably get squeezed over it when it's finished. Maybe lime or lemon lime mixture actually would be good at that. We got a little bit of cleanup to do tonight. It's fine, I've been meaning to do a deep clean of the kitchen anyway. Yeah, the animations was really bad about it. I mean, it, like, it, it's really sad because the music's great, the voice acting in both doves is really damn good for the new Berserk. It's just the animation kills it. Even the like 
plotting and pacing is pretty good. It's just that animation, you know? Hey, Taylor. Hey, you want some of this? Okay. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely understand not watching the new Berserk because of that. But if, say, someone was to parody it, give it a shot, you know? There's a lot of comedic potential for Berserk. At least I think so. Ooh, camera's fogging up. <laughs> Data is Deku is the first beta male protagonist? I highly doubt he's the first. There have been so many fucking series out there like that. There's gotta be at least a few shonen hero protagonists at the very least that are beta males. Honestly, I do like that Deku is that type of person, though, because it genuinely lends to him having a really good character arc. He, he learns his confidence and all that, you know? I definitely agree. Berserk needs to be hand-drawn. There's a reason that the 90s series, despite being really low budget, is very well remembered. Because... Honestly, let's face it. Low budget traditional animation ages better than low budget CGI. It's unfortunate to say because so many things are going to CGI nowadays, but it's the truth. It is the truth. And I hate that about it. Honestly, even like I wasn't even a fan of the Berserk movie animation. Because it was a blend. I mean, the traditionally drawn backgrounds are beautiful, epic, sweeping landscapes. But the second you see the CGI character, it just kind of killed it for me, you know? Turn to keep down with this a little bit. Cast iron is kind of funny when you cook with sometimes. When it comes to like the heat. Hot. Let me get rid of this. I got a lot of dishes to do, not my friends. Here. Let you guys look somewhere appetizing than just that empty pot. Yeah, my friends, I don't know what to tell you about that. Oh, yeah, Redline's amazing. Also, Redline took eight years to draw one movie. It's still, it's still fucking amazing. One of the best animated features ever made, just on a visual standpoint. Also, the music's so epic. I mean, it's beyond epic. It's actually how I met the first girl I dated in college. Because she was a huge Redline... I guess she would be the second. I don't know. Third, maybe? Well, because I, I was dating someone one to call. Anyway, sorry. Because she was a huge, huge, huge Redline fan. And I somehow got stuck as a, a officer at a club, and we decided to screen it. Redline! <clears throat> Redline's great though. I cannot, I cannot praise it enough. For me, the director who has had the best handle on visuals his entire career, Satoshi Kon, hands down. Seriously, take a look at Perfect Blue, Tokyo Godfathers, Millennium Actress, fucking Millennium Actress, or um, Paprika. All very, very strong visual style. I think out of any director, period, he's the one I've seen use animation to its fullest. Or at least most creatively. And I'm not I'm like, I, I know, I know it's heresy, an anime director better than Miyazaki, whatever. The thing is, Miyazaki tells great stories, great character-driven stories. But I feel like Kon used animation in a way that no one else really did. Like, his stuff could... There are great stories. The stories can work in any medium, but the greatest for them was animation. I mean, hell, like, Black Swan, Inception, both inspired by impartial remakes of his work, they look great. 
you know, using CG and everything, but it's a little, it's a little distracting. I mean, less on Black Swan, but that was his most simplistic film anyway, Perfect Blue. But Paprika was, I don't know, it's just, it's hard to put in words, unless you've seen it, it's really hard to explain. It's a very unique looking thing. Yeah, yeah, Red Line had very little CG. Had a little touch up here and there, the dust and stuff, but... Honestly, that's like, um, Fiddy Alvarez's version of Evil Dead. One of the first horror movies I've seen in years that wasn't a CGI mess. Almost all hard effects with just a little bit of CG touch-up. Which is how, in my opinion, how it should be done. Speaking of done, I think we're done here, gang. Let's see, does this trim look good? Yeah, it smells alright. Oops. Yeah, more of this on the stove than I did in the damn pan. Alright guys, we're going we're done. Let's put it in here and we'll plate it. Tail taste. Mm. Pan's getting kinda hot actually to grab. Let me go ahead and load it on the side over here. Fuck burning my hand, burning my hand. Feels a lot better though. <laughs> but yeah, gang, that is going to be our meal, I think. Alright, guys. I'll clean that up later. But yeah. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let me get a plate and serve. See how it looks. Washing this off so I didn't have to make it dirty up another one. But yeah. Uh, Sam, if you were here, I would give you some so much. Uh, yeah, cabin fever was practical, but I did. I, I was just not a fan of it. I'll be honest. That that is partially just my prejudice towards that film. Devil's Rejects, also another really good practical effect one. God, this smells kind of amazing. I won't lie. What do you think? Hey, Flash. Well, straw man, I'm not professional. I'm entirely self-trained. But that's what we got. All right, straw man, how should I plate the square plate then? Picture real quick. <laughs> I'm not bullying you with food, saying. Tempting. I am tempting you with food. Let's give it a try, though. So we put sausage, a piece of zucchini. <sighs> smells good. It smells good and seasoned. Mmm. Mmm. Succulent. Mm. 
Yeah, that's good. I would definitely cook this again. Mmm. I got you. Throw out the rule camera for camera play so you just don't want to completely center. Well, guys, thank you all for joining me, and thanks for sticking around this long with the stream. I am starving and have not eaten all day. I am looking forward to trying this. Mmm. And I want to thank you all for coming out. I'll post the recipe in the description below. And um, I'm trying to think. Anything else? Um, I might stream next week. I don't know yet. Depends on how money's doing and all. If I can afford to make a new recipe. Or if I'm just going to be living off the sandwiches and ramen. So, yeah. Thanks for coming out, guys. I hope you enjoy. Hope you have a great weekend as well. And thank you. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you were here with me. And that means the world to me. So, until next time, good night.